But science doesn't always give the results you expect. And this program will produce evidence that the emotions of other creatures may be much more human-like than we might think. The emotions that we feel are clearly written on our faces. Each child responds differently to the same event. But in a universally understood language, they communicate very clearly what they're feeling. And even these babies seem aware of each other's feelings. If we express feelings so clearly, why shouldn't other animals? We are instinctively sure they do. So maybe we can study some animal emotions exactly the way we study human ones. <laughs> For the past 30 years, Dr. Jane Goodall has devoted her life to the welfare of both wild and captive chimpanzees. She believes that chimp emotions, like human emotions, are written clearly on their faces. Oh, my goodness. What did it do? What did that naughty thing do? I don't think anybody who has a knowledge of human children and who then is shown for the very first time a group of young chimpanzees playing or interacting with a human, I don't think anybody could fail to believe that chimpanzee infants and human infants have the same kind of emotional needs and emotional expressions. It's very easy to tell from the chimp's facial expression the kind of emotion that he or she is feeling. When chimpanzees are happy, when they're playing, when they're tickling each other, they laugh. It's very difficult for me to do a chimp play face because they, put their, they show their lower teeth rather than their upper teeth. But if we tickle, like this, yes, we get a little laugh, and we should have a little play face here. <laughs> yes, we get a beautiful play face, a really nice play face, and a laugh. <laughs> when they approach and want to play, they signal <laughs> that they want to play, and very often they just bob their head a little bit as well. Thank you. It was a beautiful play face. <laughs> <laughs> 